I'm Basto for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. I'm here with Sami and Joe Gallagher. Joe, and Sam, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah. Good, yeah. Sam, how do you feel that performance went there tonight? Yeah, good, good, good and rough. Like it was more tonight. I felt um, I was thinking about the shots. So I was just getting in there, we went. I was thinking, what I'll actually land the shots we've been working on and stuff. And I did a few of them, not as many. Um, you know, I'm not trying to pretend he was a you know, world leader, but he's not been stopped in six years. He's tough. He gives people tough fights. He's coming off a win as well. I was practicing the shots. He was quite awkward, just looking for one big uh, uppercut and uh, stuff. So maybe I, I was thinking a bit too much, but I was getting my jab out, and you know, I'm, I'm happy enough. And I got a fifth round stoppage, so it is what it is. And it's the first time you've been back here since last August, uh, since you dislocated your yeah. knee. So since October, yeah. So it was good to get back in and get in the change rooms with a win. So. I'm pleased and move on and just keep having these fights. I'm 24, but and um, I've had a lot of setbacks in my career, um, unfortunately, for uh, a novice or whatever, but um, just leave it in, in Joe's hands now. So, you know, just get the wins. I'm in no rush. Um, don't think Joe's in any rush for me, so we'll just, we're just going from here. The last fight was at the end of February on the next gen show, Victoria Warehouse. Yeah. So it's quite a short turnaround. You're looking to be as active as that throughout the year? Yeah, whatever. As soon as, as, soon as Joe got me out quite quick now. So I've, I've, uh, I've always performed well when I've got fight after fight. But unfortunately, it's not worked like that because previously I was kind of involved with uh, the actual organisation of the show. So. Um, it was too long apart, so no, it was no fault of anyone else, it's just it is, but I'm lucky to be with Joe now, I'm getting out like this, so it's happy days. Joe, can I just bring you into the interview? Uh, why do you see Sam's progression over the next 12 months? Um, listen, there's opportunities out there for them to present themselves, uh, we'll take them, but Sam's work in progress, he's like Marcus Morrison and Osman Aslam, they're, they're young, uh, they're ambitious, uh, but they all want to be where Anthony Crawler and Liam Smith are at the moment. Uh, but they've got to realise when they were that age, they were the same as Sam. They were just work in progress and it's a process they've got to go through. So it's, uh, no, Sam's doing really well. Like I said, it was a horrible, horrible injury here at the arena. Yeah. Knee. He's come back um, in February and had a win. He's had a good stoppage win tonight against a lively opponent. And it's like a, like a footballer coming back from a bad injury. It's just slowly, slowly. And, Get the confidence going, get the momentum going, and getting um, getting the, the results. So uh, yeah, Sam, over the next 12 months, we'll carry on, and uh, by the end of the 12 months, it'll, it'll be in the title picture scene, which is a, a very lively cruiserweight division in Britain. I was just going to touch on that, funnily enough, because obviously you recently had Lawrence Okoli and Isaac Chamberlain going in there, sort of classed as novice pros at this stage of the career, yeah. and it seems to be a situation where the novice pros seem to be getting sort of thrown in with each other this early on. Do you see Sam potentially going in with people like that in the next 12 months? Yeah, 100%, and uh, I think the promoters and TV demand that. I think the days of building up 20 fights and to uh, then get put in, I think, no, there's, there's too much competition, especially in this cruiserweight division. Um, like I say, you've got uh, a Colin now fighting Luke Watkins, that's going, Matty Askin has just had a good win, defended his British title, and there's other kids coming through, like you say, on the, uh, Jordan Thompson, uh, Massa, um, and there's uh, Simon Valala, he's fighting Iqbal as well, yeah. in the title, so... There are you can do a prize fight or a cruiserweight at the moment. It's a, it's a, it's a good division, but like I said, we've got to, got to keep doing our thing, not look around what anyone else is doing, and uh, when the opportunity comes, be ready to, to take it with both hands. And Sam, have you got any guys and sponsors that you want to thank for helping you out on this performance? Yeah, all, all my sponsors, we could get them on the, uh, on the camera. So Absolutely. Refund You, which is the me group as well. Go GVIP, Glassrooms, JD Sports, uh, Let Us Furnish For You. And then, Sofa King Swanky and Jay Davidson's. Brilliant, Sam. Thanks Cheers, very much Sam. for speaking to us. Can I just say on this, I don't think it's right whoever made it, because on here, it's got, let us furnish you. Then on the back of it, it says, refund you. <laughs> <laughs> Those would be very good at that then, mustn't they? <laughs> so, uh, something gone wrong there anyway. But Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Cheers, thank Cheers. you.